Snowballs are everyone's favorite Christmas cookie, and I'm gonna show you four different versions today. You're not gonna to wanna to miss it. Hey everyone, it's Dorothy with crazyforcrust.com, and welcome back to my kitchen. Uh, this time of year, I should call myself crazy for snowball cookies because I post so many, I have so many different versions on my site. Uh, my mom's recipe, which I will link up here, is uh, my most popular, and this today I'm showing you four different versions of that recipe. For more delicious desserts and easy recipes, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Now let's get in the kitchen. First, let's start making Christmas snowball cookies. These have little mini red and green M&Ms in them instead of nuts. Okay, all my snowball recipes start with one cup of unsalted butter. Um, make sure that it's softened. Go ahead and add that to a mixer. Now you can use a hand or a stand mixer and then add a half of a cup of powdered sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla along with two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour and a half of a teaspoon of salt. You can mix it all together in the mixer when you first start. Um, and then you're going to just mix this together and let the mixer run or use your hand mixer until it comes together. If you're using a stand mixer, it's gonna come together a lot faster than if you're using a hand mixer because it's more powerful. If you're using a hand mixer, you're gonna feel like it's never going to combine, but just keep mixing. As you can see, eventually it does come together and form together into a cookie dough. And for these, we're skipping the nut, we're making them Christmassy, so we're adding red and green M&Ms. I'm using mini M&Ms, one cup of them. You can use make these any color for any holiday, um, but I love the red and green ones. Just stir the M&Ms into that dough and then it's time to scoop them. I love using a one tablespoon cookie scoop for this. Um, you could even use a smaller one if you have it. Scoop them onto your cookie sheets and bake them. Once they come out of the oven and you can handle them, roll them in additional powdered sugar. Next, I'm gonna show you how to make a gingerbread version of snowballs that have molasses in them. These are nut free, but you could definitely add some pecans or walnuts. Now the gingerbread ones start the same way with your butter and your vanilla and your salt and your powdered sugar, but I am also going to add in one tablespoon of molasses to this that gives it that gingerbread flavor. Um, I love adding the molasses. And you're going to add in some gingerbread spices. I'm using cinnamon and ginger, nutmeg, allspice, and cloves today. Um, you could use gingerbread spice if that's what you have. I'm gonna beat all of that together and then I'm going to add my two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. Um, mix that together. Now I'm using a hand mixer today. You can see it takes a little bit longer for this to come together. It seems like it's never gonna come together, but then it does. Um, once it's all mixed together, you're gonna scoop your cookies. Again, I like to use a one tablespoon cookie scoop. You don't need to spread these out too much. They're not gonna spread. They're gonna hold their shape. Put them on the cookie sheet. Bake them at 350 and then once they are done and you can handle them, roll them in additional powdered sugar. Now let's talk about lemon. Everyone loves lemon cookies. These are a lemon version of snowballs filled with tons of lemon flavor. My lemon snowball cookies have basically the same recipe except I'm adding two teaspoons of lemon zest um, and a quarter of a teaspoon of lemon extract to the batter. Otherwise, it's the same recipe with the butter and powdered sugar, flour and salt and vanilla. Um, bake them just like you normally would and roll them in powdered sugar that is mixed with a little bit of lemon zest for some extra flavor. And last but not least, I'm taking my mom's classic snowball. You can put chocolate chips in these or pecans or leave them plain, and I'm dipping them in chocolate like a truffle. What I love about the truffle cookies is instead of rolling them in the powdered sugar, melt some chocolate and just dip your baked and cooled cookies in that chocolate. Um, let that set and you have a truffle, a chocolate dipped snowball cookie. If you need some extra tips on how to dip candy or cookies or snowballs in chocolate, be sure to check down below for a link to my video. I'm also gonna link it up at the top on how to dip candy and truffles in chocolate without crying or swearing. And that's it. Snowballs are such an easy cookie recipe. Um, they freeze well, they store well, they travel well. These are perfect for the holidays. Leave me a comment and let me know which version you're going to make first and keep watching for even more cookie recipes. 